Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on my video and thanks for voting the other day when I asked you which video you wanted to see first. It's so crazy how many plants I no longer have. I'm a little bit sad about that, but that's okay. I'm just going to be thankful for the plants that I still do have. I guess I'm just sad that I wasn't able to give those plants away. Rather, they just died because of the thrips that I got all over a lot of my house plants but um oh well let's just move on so we'll start off with a fireplace here you guys this used to be covered in plants i'll insert a little clip just to show you but i really like how much more open it is please excuse my very dirty fireplace it hasn't been cleaned for the past 10 years we don't use it uh but also we don't use it because it hasn't been cleaned so anyway maybe next winter um but here's my cornstalk dracaena that i also found thrips on i panicked and i grabbed some clorox wipes they were the closest thing that i had on hand and you know i hate bugs so i immediately like wiped the leaves i squeezed some of the clorox juice in the center because you know how that's where new leaves grow pretty dumb i know but i'm sorry i panicked and apparently it didn't like it because it turned brown and mushy and so i ended up just chopping it off i've been wanting to cut the head of this anyway just because i kind of want to see if two heads grow back but also it was getting a little bit tall which is why i um i moved it from the area it was in which was in the like little dining room area it's hardly a dining room only two people can fit in there but anyway that's where it was i had to move it out of there because it was getting in the way of the light switch and so maybe this was a blessing in disguise anyway we will be closely monitoring that moving on to my mama plant my parallel peperomia this was originally purchased in i think it was like a two and a half inch pot it was like in one of those little containers and this has just exploded over time i've taken many many cuttings from it and it's still thriving i guess so here's one of my pothos plants luckily this one has not yet started balding at the base that's what irritates me about all of my pothos plants i just can't seem to maintain a long length like other people can but i don't know i'm doing something wrong i'm sure but in the back here we've got an obtusifolia that is continuing to get thrips every week or maybe every four days i take it to the sink and i spray soapy water solution on it and so luckily there haven't been any brown spots so hopefully i am managing the thrips it's super annoying though um i've got a pilea uh, aluminum uh, aluminum peperomia i forget what that's called but over there hiding in the back um and my sense of area so here i have an aloe i have so many aloes you guys i want to start giving some away because they're getting to be too big and here is a um diefenbachia you guys i lost one of these uh dumb canes because some of i don't know it must be thrips that must be what it is because if i wait uh, in between waterings it gets too dry and the moment i water it it turns yellow so it's like i'm not over watering it yet it does turn yellow which is usually an indication of you over watering your plant so i don't know what's going on here's a, a funny little skull thingy i got from cabo i don't know how many years back with um some pots just hanging out at the bottom of the shelf but i really love this ladder you guys i think it was a 50 bucks i got it off of amazon many months ago i forget when i got that but yeah here is my fireplace area i'm really like i said enjoying the nice open space i don't feel like any you know plants are going to be in the way of the tv anytime soon which it was what do you guys think so in this video we're just going to cover this dining room area i just have a lot of <laughs> plants to go over i guess and i wanted to show you my new like office area <laughs> not an office area but I got tired of, um, I was using the dining room table to do my, you know, computer stuff. And I was just getting tired of having to like put it away because I've needed a lot of extra hard drives. And so it was just getting annoying. And I decided to move my like little side table that I had here. I initially wanted to put them side by side just so I still had somewhere to put a lot of plants. But it got to look like a swap meet a little bit. So I just decided to put that in another room but anyway i mean it's not the most ideal spot for a computer area but as you can see my living room is not very big and so um i kind of still wanted it to be part of the living room area so that i don't have to go into another room to use a computer you know but anyway guys here is another um pothos plant i hope i can get this one to um not grow bald but we'll see 
This is my Janet Craig Dracaena that I also had thrips on. I did do the soapy water solution on this, so I'm gonna just be closely monitoring it. I don't know, has anyone of you been able to successfully get rid of thrips altogether? Um, I know somebody recommended diatomaceous, am I saying that right? Um, powder to sprinkle on there. I just, I don't know. I'm hoping the soapy water solution thing <laughs> is going to help manage it a lot better. And so like, we'll see if I, if it just kills, continues to keep killing my plants, I'm just going to have to cave and, and get that. I'm going to get neem oil, spray it all. But anyway, guys, I'm liking this little area here that I'm, as you can see, there's some pretty big um, pots on the windowsill which would otherwise not really fit on there if it weren't for these pots that I'm kind of um, keeping, like it's preventing it from falling, which I don't know if that's such a good, that's a good idea. That might be a bad idea, but they're pretty sturdy. Um, so I'm hoping that they're just going to stay there. Anyway, here's one of my Hoyas that I moved purely because I like the color um, container that it's in. It's next to like a black patterned, container which matches the desk that I put there which is not even a desk it's like a side table but like I say the area is very small so I just had to make do with what I had um here's some cuttings that in my next video actually there's going to be a part two for my house plant tour video so it'll be the one after that but I finally potted these you guys these have been in water for like six months it's not excusable I'm that lazy sorry anyway um, so here's this unsightly gate that I have to put on here because I'm worried that my little fur baby is going to get to some of my plants. Um, he can't really reach the ones on the windowsill, <laughs> nor will he bother with the Schifflera. So um, I'm just concerned about all the ones that are lower on the shelf here. So even though it's just like such a hassle moving this um, in and out of this little tiny, tiny area, like I can barely fit in this area, you guys. <laughs> Um, it's just, I'm, that's just going to have to be how it is because I don't want to take the chance of him gnawing on a leaf or two. Like what if I'm in the bathroom and I don't have my eyes on him? But anyway, guys, these, um, aloes have been there for a while. Here's another yellowing leaf on one, I, one of my, um, Diefenbachias. I'm not sure why they're being like this, you guys. Um, yeah, I did find some thrips on the mama or not the mama, but one of the bigger babies that I harvested couple years ago trying to manage that guys again with soapy water solution um but i moved my cylindrica sensivera here just because it is getting some sunlight it's one of those plants that you can kind of just like tuck away in the back or even keep in front of plants because the sunlight will just go through it because there's not much to block the sun right but anyway i'm showing you here the wrinkling on my Hoya, that's one of the signs, telltale signs that you need to water your plant, which I like very much. I also do use the, you know, picking the pot up method. If it feels light, then obviously you need to water it. But anyway, guys, another plant of mine that's been yellowing is my Schifflera. I don't know why it's doing that. I have um, neglected that for quite some time. So maybe it, got, it just got used to being super um, thirsty and dry and now it doesn't know what to do with all this water that I'm giving it that could be it as well but anyway guys not much change um, has happened in this little corner here's my some of my obtusifolias I try to keep like plants um, in the similar area just so that they get the same amount of sunshine um, I did used to try to experiment and keep them in different areas of my house to see if they can thrive in different lighting environments but um it got to be too difficult to keep track especially once i started propagating a lot of the obtusifolia so i'm just like keeping track of how many of them are there <laughs> um here are my super cute zebra haworthias you guys these are the babies that used to be super tiny i haven't seen any new babies on my haworthia but here's like an example of how um these grow like remember in one of my videos i kept talking about how it's like an extension of the mama plant and you have to wait for it to grow roots so here's a, a cylindrica sansevieria that has you know that extension go in there i don't really know if that has roots yet i don't plan on harvesting that i'm just gonna try to keep my plants where they are for now i don't really have a plant that like need needs to be repotted luckily 
so I'm just going to keep them where they're at. So here is some other plants of mine. I decided to move all of my um, pilea, shoot, peperomioids. <laughs> I'm like really bad at remembering the names these days. I decided to move them there just because I feel like that would be the best spot for the sun for them. And guys, my avocado plant, my super sad avocado plant. I don't know if this is going to survive. I lost all of the leaves. They kept, um, thrips just kept appearing on them. I kept doing the soapy water thing. One thing that I have done differently is I've also been spraying the soil. I've been saturating the soil just because, you know, a lot of the eggs are still there and I'm hoping that the soap soapy water solution is, will kill them in the soil. I don't know. Let me know if that's worked for you guys. Um, but we'll see. I'm not very hopeful because there hasn't been a lot of growth. Like usually a lot of the leaves were coming in like every few days or so, but now there's just hardly been any growth at all. But anyway, I'm trying to show you this tray that I have that I've been able to like start watering from the bottom it's just a decorative tray i don't think it's really supposed to have <laughs> water on it but um that's where it is for now okay so you guys remember um i was using an old pot of dirt um that i just had laying around i was <laughs> i usually just throw dirt away you know because if you leave it out for too long it's just gonna get compacted all of the nutrients are gonna deteriorate i don't know <laughs> But anyway, I used it to propagate, to do an experiment, um, to propagate some of my string of pearl. Um, I'll link a video here. But all of a sudden, several months later, this alocasia started to grow. And then um, I also found some in one of my other plants. And so anyway, I harvested some of the remaining pods or tubes, tubers that I found. And that's that was them. They're like growing nice and healthy. Um, oh, do you guys know what these brown spots are on my Hoya? I forget what type of Hoya. There's so many different types of Hoyas. But anyway, there's some brown spots growing on them. Immediately, I took a clipping just in case something happens to it. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I took a clipping just in case. But anyway, I don't know what those brown spots are about. Here's another one of my pixie lime plants. I had to get rid of one of the pixie lime um, peperomias that I got you guys. Um, a lot of you ask me questions about like browning leaves like that. I just, I think that's normal. I get a lot of those on there, but it doesn't affect the rest of the plant. Um, that said, just closely monitor it. You might have thrips. Anyway, guys, remember all of my failed propagation. I haven't thrown away any of the browning ones. You can see there's only one remaining green one that's still alive but I haven't thrown away <laughs> the rest of these just because I did take one of them apart. I had a ton of these growing, but I took one of them apart and the roots of the, what looks like dying leaves were still green and juicy. And so I think that come springtime, maybe something's gonna happen to them. I'm holding on hope, holding on hope, holding hope, <laughs> holding out hope. I don't know how that thing goes, but anyway, I'm hoping that come springtime, something's gonna happen but anyway here are plants on my windowsill all of the hoyas over here that i plan on giving away um there's so many of them i actually think that i can take some clippings look you see the darker leaves on some of the hoyas that's all new growth so i am pretty sure that i can take some clippings from these and just propagate even more i never thought that i would have such success propagating these hoyas you guys like i said in my other video i was so intimidated by hoyas because i felt like they would be so difficult for me to grow in the seattle weather that i live in we don't get a lot of sunshine here although it's been really sunny the past couple of weeks really surprising for winter but anyway yeah those are the hoyas so also maybe i'm overwatering my alocasia you guys it's turning yellow brown I'm waiting for it to be like completely dry. So I don't really know what that's about. I'm gonna try to just like water them in the little saucers that they're in to water from the bottom. And we'll see if it alleviates some of the yellowing that I'm experiencing. But you guys, that is it for part one of my houseplant tour. What do you guys think about the number of plants that I've lost? I think it looks, it looks better not all cluttered like that, right? What do you guys think? Let me know. 
Also, let me know what you think about my new computer area. I happen to like it. Mr. Batana Babies, it took a while for him to warm up to the idea of utilizing this space for the computer, but um, I don't know. I like it a lot. I get to look out the window and watch the neighborhood. I'm the neighborhood watch. Anyway, take care. Bye.